Yeah, I think uh, over the last you know, month, our last quarters have been strong, so I feel you know they should have confidence in that. But clearly, it was a great contest, and it wasn't just going to happen. So I think you know we just acknowledged that GWS had, had brought a level of intent and energy that was going to be uh, you know, a challenge. Uh, but fortunately, we were able to match them in that space, and, and we obviously ran out of the game pretty well. So it was good. But was that different? Like, was, he, was it like them dropping off, or you guys going to another gear in that last quarter? Yeah, and I think um, you know, we, I think we, as I said, we have, have been able to run out games pretty well. So we maintained a, a level. I don't, I don't really think they dropped off, but I think we just perhaps found a little, little extra, and uh, you know, get the ball in the fourth half. It's hard to transition full length late in the game. So it helps in your forwards really from both on the chance of Stevie Lee and really doing some good work down there. Yeah, well, I think early in the game we probably had some volume but didn't get reward. So, uh, yeah, clearly you've got to kick goals to win games, so it was nice that they did that. And uh, it must be great confidence for us, you know, top of the ladder now, I think, obviously, and, you know, big game against Melbourne next Sunday. Yeah, it's, uh, uh, it, looked like, it looked this way from a fair way out, uh, but it, it's going to come down to the last round, so I'm sure the uh, AFLW is pretty happy about that. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, a, it's really congested, you know, three teams on, on five wins and, and one on four and two with pretty healthy percentage, so it's, uh, it's, uh, it's certainly going to be an exciting week next week. How's it feeling in the group, Debbie, after five straight wins, and you know, to really grind that one out today as a close game of three-quarter time must be just buzzing on the chance of it? Yeah, look, I was really proud of the girls, how we worked really hard this um, today, so a real like, four-quarter effort, so yeah, we'll look to next week and just have to keep going, really. Jenny, what about Nikki Gore's first game? Yeah she, yeah, she was awesome. Like, she was super pumped before the game and like, she really composed herself. Like, didn't look like, like it was her first game. So, yeah, hopefully she gets picked next week and we'll, she'll keep going. And what about the pace of the game today, Jenny? Did it seem to really pick up in that last quarter? Um, yeah, well, it picked up for us, but GWS, like, they were really strong all, like, all game, every quarter. Um, it was a really hard contest out there, so it was really good for us girls to sort of run it out in the end and yeah, get a few in the last quarter. So what it was good. Another really tough game. I mean, every, every game's really tough, but um, Melbourne, they'll, they'll bring it, so we'll try and bring our, our best game. So, yeah. yeah. Doc, um, thoughts on Nikki Gore's performance on the debut? Yeah, no, I agree with, uh, agree with Danny's comments. I thought she looked composed, which is, can be a challenge in your first game. But I thought, uh, you know, when it was her turn, she was clean over the ball and took some time and, you know, used the ball pretty well. So uh, we've been really pleased with her training form, her SNFLW form. Uh, and I think I said it the, uh, you know, during the week, it sort of felt wrong that she hasn't had an opportunity up until now. Uh, but the opportunity came, she took it, so we're really pleased for her. She was a, it was a big day for her, her family, drove just the 17 hours to get here. So uh, I'm glad that she was, they were all able to make it, it was good. Doc, what about um, Jess Bolton in the rough? Uh, the pros and L's of which I think you watched yeah. Well, clearly that was the you know the huge disappointment out of our trial game. You know to lose uh, both our rucks in, in within the space of 30 minutes. Um, but for, fortunately, we we drafted a you know an exceptional athlete, uh, enormous experience in basketball. Clearly, but uh, the way she's taken to footy has been you know nothing short of amazing. Really, she's she's been a revelation. So we're very grateful that we <laughs> that we had her, and uh, and clearly her form line has has been really really strong. So. Um, you know, that it is what it is. We've got to persevere with, uh, with you know, obviously Jess and uh, Hatchie's been helping out in there. And uh, Even Chelsea got in there today. Chelsea had a little go, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can't keep her out of it. <laughs> no. No. On the injury front, Doc, um, chance to get uh, CJ back, I think. And maybe yeah, CJ. yeah, so there's a bit of work to be done for them during the week, um, but they're, yeah, both those girls are, uh, are building to, to full fitness. Uh, so that'll be a, you know, it'll probably be a line ball call as to whether they're ready um, and, and it'll be a challenging decision at match committee. Uh, obviously quality players, but uh, the ones that are in are, are playing well, so it's, it's tough. How's the idea sort of on the side of caution? Are you backing the girls that have won five straight? Uh, well, ultimately if they're, uh, you know, I mean, particularly CJ's only missed a couple of weeks. Sergi's a bit tougher because she hasn't played all year. Um, so, you know, we'll just have to weigh it up. But ultimately it's just what's best for the team. Um, you know, we've had a number of players that have come in and out of the team and stepped in, played their role, and then, you know, occasionally have had to, had to go back out and go back and, and find form. Ultimately, you need a squad that's, that's going to, you know, hopefully get you to the finals, and, and we've clearly had that. We've had contributions would you want, broadly. Would you want to see Sergi play a game with CFW before? Not necessarily. No, not necessarily. Just need, just need a tr to be able to train at the level and, uh, and be 100%, basically. Um, you know, probably in terms of the... Risk or no risk, it's it's more a physical risk. Is is she is she right to go? If she's right to go, then you just make a call as, as to what you think is the best mix for the team. Phillips and Don, um, Marinoff are dominant. What did you think of their game? Yeah, they're pretty good players. 
Yeah. <laughs> now they're clearly both, you know, exceptional talents. Uh, Ebony's, you know, becoming a young leader of our group. Um, she's uh, really maturing and adding elements to her game, you know, each each week, which we're really pleased about. And you know, Erin's just, you know, just a pro, so she she knows how to how to get it done when it when it's when it matters most. Any injuries that it's bad? Not that I'm aware of. I don't think so. So yeah, I think clean bill health, which is which is important. Yeah, yeah, it was awesome. Such a privilege to get out there. I mean, I know CJ, she really pumped the team up. Um, it's a special oval for her. So, yeah, and I think the girls really did, did the honour. So. Yeah. That was great. I thought the venue worked really well. Yeah, I thought, you know, the crowd, obviously, um, you know, it was, a, it was a long weekend and so forth, but to get the, get the turn up that we did, it was, uh, it was really pleasing. And clearly, our, you know, our supporters are a huge part of, uh, of what we're trying to do. We want to, want to put us on a good show for them. So I thought the girls did that really well today. Cool. Thanks,